Hello and welcome to a new segment of Motors for the Masses and we are looking at a bike build. Not this one. This one is going very soon. What we are using is that. So what have we got? Well, this is a 1978 Honda 404 Super Sport. Used to be blue, apparently. Now it's red. Is it original? No, it isn't. That's why we don't mind cutting it up. Not cutting it up. Altering stuff for the Cafe Racer. These three-spoke wheels, not quite sure what they're off, but they're certainly not off this. This rear swing arm. Yes. You not original. It should be round. That isn't. So we're not quite sure what that's off either at the moment. However, the engine turns over quite nicely. It doesn't start at the moment, simply because this was found in a barn where it had stood for more than 12 years, apparently. So, perfect candidate. I picked it up for a superb price and we're gonna make it very, very different. Over the coming weeks, we're gonna be doing various different videos and showing you the stages and the process and the progress of this bike until it is done. The tank will change. This seat will change. These handlebars will change. The ignition system will change. The engine will all be stripped out, rebuilt and painted. The exhaust system, all these pipes will stay but we'll have two going into a collection and coming out of the side underneath the bike here on this side and two on the other side. So I've already had a question. Is it going to be loud? <laughs> yes, it is. So what else? This mudguard, it's going to change. This rear light, it's going to change. Indicators, going to change. Front mudguard, that's going to change too. Rear pegs, well, because the seat's changing, we don't need those, so they're going to go. What else? This frame is going to be taken apart and sprayed black. The colour of the bike we're not quite sure about. Now the tank I've gone for is the Benelli Mojave style tank and that's going to go on here and my own custom design on the badge. Not quite sure on the colour yet. Now the tank may be left in bare metal but the plan is to find sort of an orange bronze lacquer hmm. and just put that over the tank. So we're not quite sure on that yet. In fact, your suggestions would help us. What would you do? And please don't suggest to put it back to original and standard because it's just not, not happening. happening. Not gonna happen. If this was a mint bike and everything was original, that may be an option, but it isn't, so it isn't. Now, these tires are gonna change as well. Not gonna go for these style or the old cross ply type style. Gonna go for something new. We wanna start a new trend. This is gonna be a scrambler meets cafe racer. So we're gonna put some scrambler tires on it. Now, obviously, the style of this bike and the age of this bike, it only came with a 100 back tire. And the plan is what? Well, we're hoping that we can maybe fit something a bit wider because there's a good amount of space here between the tyre and the chain and the tyre and the rear swing arm on both sides. It's got a good sort of 10 to 15 mil, so we should be able to get something in there with some nobbles on. Maybe a 120. Yeah. And this mudguard is going to go as well. Now this has a self-lubricating chain by the looks of it. I think that's aftermarket. It looks to be aftermarket. That's probably going to go. It's going to go. Tax disc. Decided. It's going to go. Oh, I don't know, I might leave that. You reckon? Yeah, leave the tax disc, what do you reckon? Just put a, a, um, a 1978 date in it. Oh yeah, could do. That's what I did on my car. Yes. But 1968. What, 1978? No, 1968. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, as this bike is not in mint condition and it's been standing for 12 years, it has a number of issues, such as? Well, firstly, you've got seized brakes, like this master cylinder is, the pin is seized inside the cylinder. Not an issue because we were going to overhaul the brakes anyway. No, nope, not a biggie. Um, obviously there's stale fuel in the tank. That's Again, not going to be good. No, nope, not an issue either because 
yeah. the tank's disappearing yeah. and we're going to take the engine apart and clean it all up and yeah. paint it anyway. There's obviously going to be stale fuel in the carbs, however, we can clean those out. Exactly. They're going to need to be balanced afterwards. Now, I quite like these cone filters, but they're definitely aftermarket and they are hugging stroke touching the frame. This one is touching the frame. There is on this side as well, so they're going to need to be changed. The problem is because the bike was standing for a while, I do have all the paperwork for it and that's not a problem, but the keys were lost. Now that may sound like a problem initially, but it isn't because once you take this plastic stuff off, there is a number on the barrel and you can send that number away and get a new key cut. But even that's not a problem because we are moving the ignition. So we're just going to get rid of that, get rid of this because we're not going to need it and buy a whole new ignition system and mount it somewhere on the side of the bike. So, problem solved. The only problem that does leave, however, is this bike comes fitted on the frame with steering a steering lock, lock mm. which requires key. So whether or not you want to use that is the deciding thing on whether or not you try and find a key for it. Maybe one of you has a suggestion as to what can happen in that respect. I have been told I can get a key for £40, but we can get a key and ignition system for about a tenner. Not sure which to go for here, whether to get an original or just change the whole system. Because that's not going to go there anyway, it's going to be mounted on the side of the yeah. bike. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? So we mentioned before about the rear swing arm not being original, and you're probably thinking, well, why isn't it original? What's happened to it? Well, it was in an accident about... 12, 15 years ago, that's when the colour was changed. Now, we did an HPI check before I got the bike, and although it's mentioned on it, it's shown as HPI clear, so there's no real issues with it. It certainly isn't going to affect the insurance. No, and of course that's also meaning that this mudguard has been changed out as well. This is now maybe a fibreglass or plastic instead of the tin that it should be. Oh, yeah, the concave headlight. Well, this... That's changing too. It's horrible. In the next video you will see us with some new shiny parts. So we'll have the tank, we'll have the seat, we'll have some, we'll have the lights, we'll have the indicators, we'll have some other stuff. And you'll see the plans unfolding. And what we will be doing is stripping the bike down in preparation. So please join us next time and for all the other videos. If you haven't already, click subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications when a new video is coming up. And until next time, ride and drive carefully, but have fun. Bye bye! <coughs> Brakes are seized!